Yo, what is up guys? My name is Rob. Thanks for tuning into the Rob Some Knowledge YouTube channel. And today we're gonna to be showing you guys how to update your iPhone to the new iOS 14. So first things first, you have need to make sure that you have a compatible phone in order to upgrade your phone to iOS 14. And there's a few ways you can tell this. Uh, the first easy way is to just go ahead and go into your settings menu right here. And then you're gonna go down to general, click that and go to software update. And if it displays iOS 14, then you are in fact compatible to go ahead and update. Now also, if you're already on version of iOS of iOS 13, then you're also eligible because all devices that have iOS 13 are eligible to upgrade to iOS 14. So once you figure that out, we're just gonna wanna do a few steps. First thing, we're going to want to go ahead and back up our device. That way, in case anything goes wrong with the update, the phone crashes during the update, something like that, we'll be good to go ahead and restore our phone and not lose any of our data. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. There's actually two ways to do that. One way is through iTunes, the other way is through iCloud. I'm going to be showing you the iCloud version in this video just because it's simpler, doesn't use a computer, and most people will probably be using that. Now, if you do want to do it through iTunes and you're not sure how to do that, go ahead and click the info card up in the top right-hand corner of the screen. I will show you guys how to do that in a separate video. To get to your iCloud backup, you're gonna to wanna to go back to your main settings screen and you're gonna go ahead and click your little personal info card here with your name, and then you're gonna go ahead and scroll down to the iCloud and scroll down to the iCloud backup. And then from here, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that that is toggled on. And then you can see here the backup now button. We're gonna go ahead and click that. Now you're gonna to wanna to make sure you also have enough space in your iCloud, which I have plenty of space. And if you don't, you may need to delete some stuff or upgrade your storage plan. But as you can see, I have over a hundred and almost 130 gigabytes of free storage. So let's go ahead and navigate back to our iCloud backup menu. And as you can see, the last successful backup was just an hour ago. I did it before the video just to save some time. Uh, but we're gonna go ahead and do it again just for the video. So go ahead and click this. And now the time this is gonna t take depends on a lot of factors, depending on when you last backed up your phone, how much data you have to back up, and also how fast your data speed is. Now also, you're gonna wanna make sure before you click the backup button, I've already clicked it, but before you click it, you're gonna wanna make sure that all of the things are toggled that you want backed up. Because if something isn't toggled, it's not going to back that up. And if you were to lose, you know, crash during the update or anything, then whatever's untoggled will not be backed up. So make sure you go through and toggle all your important data and we'll be back with you when the backup is completed. So the backup has just successfully completed. So we're good to go on that front. As far as any, anything goes wrong, we have a complete backup of all of our data. Now we're gonna wanna go ahead and check our iPhone storage and just make sure that we have enough iPhone storage to install this update. So if you go into general software update, you can see that iOS 14, it's a 2.41 gigabyte file. So we're gonna go back to our general settings. We're gonna go down to iPhone storage and just make sure that we have enough storage space here. As you can see, I'm only using 42 gigabytes of my 256, so I have plenty. But if you don't or you're getting close, you want at least 2.5 to three gigabytes. Um, if you don't have that, you're gonna wanna go ahead and offload some unused apps or delete some unused apps to free up some space. But once we do that part, we get to go on to the actual update phase. So go back into your software update menu and all we're gonna do is go ahead and click the download and install button. So I'm gonna go ahead and click that now. Then we're gonna go ahead and enter in our passcode. Once you enter in your passcode, it's gonna go ahead and start the download and install process. Once of course you agree to their terms and conditions, go ahead and read all that, agree to it if you agree. And then here we can see it says update requested. So it's gonna go ahead and download the update from the server. And again, the time that it, this takes will depend on your Wi-Fi data speed. This should be fairly quick for me as I have 200 megabits per second download. So it should go fairly quickly. As you can see, it says we have about three minutes remaining. So I will be back with you guys when we go on to the next phase after this finishes downloading. So now we only have a few seconds remaining here for the download portion of the update. And now, as you can see down here, it is now preparing our update to go ahead and install onto our device. 
Okay, so now the download portion of this is completed. As you can see, it says downloaded and we have the install now button. So we're gonna go ahead and hit the install now. And also at this point, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you are plugged in just to make sure your battery doesn't die during the install process. I would just plug in your phone before you started any of this process, but you definitely wanna make sure it's plugged in before the install starts. Just cause you don't want your phone to run out of battery, that can ruin the install, mess up some of your data, but that's where the backup comes into play. But it just becomes a big headache, so just plug it in. And as you can see, the screen blacked out here, the install has started, should be rebooting. And there we go, the Apple logo just popped up on screen. And there we go, our little progress bar. And I'm gonna go ahead and speed this part up as well as it may take a few minutes. So now we, our iPhone has rebooted and we're back to our unlock screen. We're gonna go ahead and put it in our passcode. And there you're greeted with a screen that says software update complete. Your iPhone has been updated to iOS 14.0. We can just go ahead and click the continue button and we should be on iOS 14. gonna go ahead and walk you through some things get started and there we are we are now officially on iOS 14 you can go ahead and start playing around with everything such as adding your widgets and all of that good fun stuff now we're not going to go into all of that in this video I'm going to be making lots and lots and lots of videos on iOS 14 so make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell so you're notified when all those are posted. Other than that, guys, um, this whole process took close to 45 minutes or so. It took about 20, 25 minutes to download and prepare the update, then the, about another 20 minutes to actually do the full installation process as some of these parts of this video were sped up. But if this helped you out, please like the video. Uh, comment down below how long it took for you and uh, comment below if you like iOS 14. Um, as I said earlier, we're gonna be making lots of videos on iOS 14, so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of those. Turn on the post notification bell so you're notified every time I post a new video. Until next time, guys, I will see you later. Enjoy iOS 14. Peace out.